Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's BDF44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I think it's time for me to come back around and do another one of these um, updates, I guess, on on how did I, what did I name these things? Uh, the therapy sessions. Yeah, that's what I called them. I guess it's time for another therapy session. I'm doing better. I feel good. Um, you know, it's one of those situations where, if I'm just to catch you guys up, as far as the car is concerned, um, I still don't have it back in my care, but I've done everything I need to do to get it back. They just need to have it shipped back here. And today was the day that they uh, were telling me to call back to see if it had, in fact, arrived. And then they called me back and said, no, it's not scheduled to come back till December 6th. So we wait until December 6th. But all the stuff, getting the insurance, doing all the heavy lifting as far as getting the car back, paying everybody to make sure I get the car back, all of that's done. I've taken the financial hit. So now we're just waiting for the car to come back. Um, not, not frustrated about that at all. To be honest with you guys, if I'm being overly honest, the truth is I have a great deal of anxiety about actually going to get the car. Um, I haven't left the house since they took the car about a month and a half ago. I've walked down the street twice to drop off some mail through the trash out, that kind of thing. But everything else has been like complete and utter isolation. Um, you know. I keep my phone on. Obviously, I talk to you guys in this phone every day. But other than that, I'm in the house doing my thing, exercise, and I don't barely get any sunlight, right? It's it's bad. And, you know, I've been suffering from different types of anxieties all my life. I've had stints like this. But most of the time, I was able to jump out of it and come out of it when I needed to. And I expect to this time, too. But, you know it's important that I just express to you guys comfortably and honestly and say that I, I suffer from a great deal of anxiety at this time about this particular task. Um, just cause I haven't been around people, like literally haven't been around anyone, haven't been talking to anyone. So it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable that, you know, my rhythm as far as keeping conversation and stuff like that can be strong because of these interactions in the phone. But you know, when you go through deep isolation and you stay to yourself for long periods of time and you don't interact with people, um, it's not good for your brain. It's not good for the for your confidence either, especially if you're somebody who suffers from anxiety anyway. So that's one of many things that I need to go ahead and work on. And I think the first thing for me when I get my car back is to start uh, looking into outside therapy sessions. It's easy to turn on the phone and say, hey, let me get a therapist to kind of help me. You know, just like I'm looking in this phone right now, I could talk to someone and do it that way. But it's important for me to get out of the house. I need to do that. So now that I'm getting the car back, uh, that's kind of what I want to do is just kind of start looking into to getting myself that that consistent mental health uh, help uh, that I've been been considering for a while now. So I think that that's that's the goal for me, because it's really not about whether or not I can get my life together. It's about whether or not my anxiety and my my mental health ways can get out of the way uh, so that I can kind of just have some normality about my how I structure my life, how I structure my uh my finances and, and, and the choices that I make uh, in, in, in what I choose to focus on and things like that. A lot of that is dictated by how I feel, not necessarily by what's best for me. So uh, I'm trying to grow in that area, but at this age in my life, trying to learn new tricks as, as an old dog uh, is, is, is a challenge. So uh, I think that's what this therapy session series is about, is about documenting not only the struggles, but also uh, declaring uh, what I feel I need to do to make the changes necessary to fix my situation. So that's what I'm here to do. Share it with you guys, you know, stay as transparent as awesome as, as possible. Not only to talk about things I'm passionate about, like basketball and various stuff like that, but to also come up here and just say, yo, I'm working on me, uh, you know, and, and document some of the most difficult times, um, of my struggle as it pertains to this car. And also to talk to you guys about how I'm, uh, how I found myself in this situation in the first place, and and hopefully to try to try to assure that that I don't do it again, and also maybe help some other people with with maybe if they see something in my behavior or in some of the things I'm talking about that might help them with some of the people that in their lives or maybe even themselves. So I hope to be able to help be of help to to everybody and whoever hops on here and decides to pay me any attention. So I thank you guys for watching. Um, as far as as far as what's next, you know, obviously we got a long way to go between now and the 6th. Uh, today is like the 29th or something like that. Uh, but I'm just in a better mindset, man. I'm in a better mindset than I was. You know, the stress of and the anticipation of having to take care of everything that needed to be done 
with getting the car paid off, parting with the, the, the money that it took to do so. Uh, it was a challenge. You know, a lot of what I've been dealing with, as you guys know, has been me just investing the way that I have and kind of having a lot riding on whether or not that investment would, would explode. And it was just the wrong way to go. I think this year has taught me just how far away from, um, you know, that mentality I'd like to be starting this coming year um, to just give myself more opportunities, more options, uh, not to be so far leaning in having my eggs in one basket. And as far as AMC uh, is concerned, like my position as an ape, well, it's always going to be that. You know, I'm not going to ever, ever in my life going forward not be an AMC ape. I think if this thing doesn't squeeze, you're going to see. Uh, many people like myself continue to fight the system as it pertains to, um, you know, wanting to see fair markets in the stock market, wanting to see fair, fair trade in general as it pertains to the stuff that we pour our money into as citizens of this planet, period, not just in this country. And, you know, I've found the corruption uh, just like the rest of the apes. You know, we found it. We've seen, we've discovered the way that it's going in. And I've dedicated my entire year to uh, making sure that I put my money where my mouth is as it pertains to that fight. <laughs> that a, a lot of it had to do with uh, wanting to be uh, rich, you know, wanting to have an opportunity to take care of myself uh, in ways that I've never been able to, and take care of my family in ways that I haven't been able to. But it's also about, um, you know, seeing to it that, that I create a legacy for myself as an ape. You know what I mean? I haven't accomplished a whole lot in this world. 37 years, that's something I can say I'm proud of. It's, it's, it's the sacrifice necessary and the, the things that I've put forth in, 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 in trying to make this, this a part of my life. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the way that I went about it wasn't the right way to go about it. It wasn't the way that other apes should have been going about it either. Uh, you don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket. And if you do, you want to make sure that you have well enough, well of enough support, um, in, in the deficit column in terms of not having any any debt to be able to to sustainably hold what it is that you're trying to hold on to you know that was my problem is I didn't take care of the debt column I let the debt column continue to pile up while I continued to pour into the green hoping that the green would get me where it needed to go and while it did it put me in a great position now I have to ultimately give up some of the gains that I got instead of you know making sure that I took care of what needed to be taken care of so just from a maturity perspective this year has taught me to be a bit more mature about how I approach my business, uh, how I approach handling what needs to be done, how I need to approach my uh, unwillingness to kind of face certain realities at times and the consequences that come with being that way. This year has taught me like you, you, you cannot skate uh, away from reality. You can't just say I'm pouring all my effort into hopes and dreams and if it works out great, if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I don't know what I'm going to do turns into a lot of stress, a lot of things falling apart, and ultimately not me not being able to hold on to my shares and my car, etc. And then I look around at the stock and I like I look at it and I say, man, I actually am glad I bought that uh, or rather paid that money, sold the shares to pay for my car. Do you know why I'm happy I did that? Because the stock has fluctuated a lot, <laughs> a whole lot. And at the end of the day, uh, this thing is tanking right now. So the, the money that I would have needed to get the car out, to, if I needed to do it today, it would have been a different, it would have been much more shares I would have had to, 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 to part ways with in order to get my car out. You know what I mean? There's just no way of knowing where this thing is going to be. It doesn't look like the squeeze is going to happen anytime soon. Uh, I'm all in, so it's not like I'm not going to be repurchasing shares. Just throughout my life, I'm going to be repurchasing. So it's not, I don't feel as dedicated to keeping... Uh, sacrifices going on in my life and and not and going without paying bills and going without taking care of uh, certain obvious things. You know, my mentality uh, has changed based on the consequences of that playing out truly being real to me now and having to live with those consequences and not liking those consequences. You know, so sometimes you need to bump your head in order to know it hurts. You know, uh, as to where other people will just tell you, yo, hey, I'm going to avoid that because that's not the way to go. Sometimes with some things, you need to you need to feel that pain. And I, I've, I felt the bump. And now the wisdom 
matches the concern, matches the fear. You know what I mean? And I think that's 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 what I've come to understand. A lot of times you'll have the wisdom, but you won't have the requisite amount of fear to match it. You'll be like, yeah, I know I should do that, but I ain't afraid of them consequences or I don't believe in them consequences or eh, it's going to go the way I want it to go. It's not going to go the bad way. It's like, no, you need to understand that if you don't do this, this is going to happen and you need to be able to fear that enough so that you do what you're supposed to do. And this, that's what this year was about for me. It's about snapping me out of fantasy land uh, and putting me in a position to be more responsible with what it is I'm trying to do. And to not psych myself out is to think it was sacrifices that put me in this position. No, it was just uh, poor management uh, that put me in this position and anxiety uh, kind of coercing me internally into neglecting certain realities you know because i'm like man this is this is stressful i'm stressing myself out i'm going crazy i'm i want to ball up into a knot and since i've been like that my whole life it's like instead of addressing my issues and making my stress better by doing so neglect those issues stress gets worse i grow more unhappy and it gets just turned into a spiral of, of isolation and, and everything else so having that played itself out was very fruitful this year it was tough though I'll tell you, man, even in the first half of the year when I started developing my position and I was going through the job situation, you know, with that job, uh, it, that felt like a whole year in and of itself. Them, them seven months, six months, I was working that job very unhappy, trying to make sure I was out there every day dealing with my anxieties, dealing with various stuff that, that comes with working a job like that. Hated every second of it, to be honest with you, even though I didn't hate the people I was around, I hated what I was doing and I hated how I felt doing it. I think getting out of that and then retreating back to this house that ultimately was a very unhealthy space for me in the past, knowing how hard it was to get out of that and then choosing to jump back into it, uh, praying about it and allowing myself to be convinced that this was the move for myself and then having everything play out the way that it did. And ultimately now feeling the isolation and the anxiety that comes with not being around people uh, developing that social anxiety once again that I had shook, shaken off. It's just like, you know, you just get to a point where it's like, I, I, I just want to make good decisions for myself that don't aren't uh, dictated by, you know, trying to, to manage fresh mental health concerns or what have you, you know, that, that tend to come about randomly, basically, for me. So it is what it is, man. Now this year, now that now that I've been in this situation, this is how I approach AMC. AMC is where I park my money. You understand what I'm saying? It's not where I make it. It's not the thing that I'm thinking is going to make me money. It's something that you make your money and you pour your money into it after you've taken care of your business with your money. It's, it's almost like I, I equate the proper way to handle your vices. You handle your vices after all of your business is settled. You can smoke your weed, have your drink, whatever you're going to do after your business is settled. That way... It feels better to relax. You've accomplished what you need to accomplish, and you're not distracted by those vices while trying to accomplish those things. Not everything is every for, for everybody, but normal people, this is how we have to operate. So no different in regards to, to how I invest. Um, I was trying to pour all my eggs into the basket of AMC in hopes that it would squeeze and then change my life forever. That wasn't the way to approach it. What I needed to do was have some of my money in other places to make more money for AMC. You know what I mean? Or for, and even if it ain't AMC in your case, it's for wherever you're parking your money. That's to where in the past, maybe my mindset was to, to make a lot of money or make some money and then pour it into a savings account or pour it into a 401k or for AMC is my 401k. <laughs> AMC is where I'm going to be parking my money because I'm an ape and that's what I'm on. So, uh, you know, just, just changing my approach as it pertains to how I'm viewing these shares, you know, and, and, and what I'm doing to, to help my finances and show. So going forward, uh, my goal is to not only address what I need to appear, but to just really, really tackle that debt, man, to pay it off. It ain't crazy debt like some people's debt out there. I'm not 20, 30K in the hole. I can pay this off. It's just because I don't have a lot of money. Uh, the debt that I have is overwhelming for me, but it's, it's not in the grand scheme of things. So continue investing my little crypto, man. Uh, Shout out to, to everybody who's trying to get involved in that space. I'm not your crypto advisor in any way, shape, or form, but we have talked a little bit about crypto on this channel. I might give you guys more of that as I continue my journey there. But 
I can tell you, man, at the end of the day, investing is where it's at for me. I don't know if I trust the markets necessarily, but I definitely know that money can't just sit idly. Um, when I was like 24 years old, I remember I had $4,000 saved up from my nice little job that I had. And I put that money under my mattress, literally under my mattress for months and months at a time. And I just looked back and I said, at that age, I would have loved to have been savvy enough and, 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 uh, and aware of the opportunities that were available, which are not as easy as the ones that are right now, but they were there for me to have taken that same $4,000 and invested in something that could have maybe 40000 100000 a million now. You know what I mean? It's just like, because I'm so aware of that, I, I don't have any interest in putting my money anywhere stagnant no more. If it's not somewhere it can either go up or go down, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. So that's where I am, man. I'm just I'm just very much very much intent on changing my ways from last year but keeping that same approach. Living as frugally as I possibly can, but more so paying into my bills and investing my money properly rather than just relying on hopes and dreams. So better operation, uh preparation situations over here, man. And then from there, just just live, man. Just live, you know. I like I said, I'm already 37 years in, so it ain't a whole lot that I can honestly say I'm trying to do. I just want to get my finances together and then, um, you know, work on my the things that I love to do, the art that I love to do. So uh, if I can pull that off, get my give me a nice little run, 40 year run, and then I can leave this art very comfortably, bro. I'm not one of those people that need a whole lot or, oh my God, I need everybody here. I need this and that. No. No, I just need certain things out of my way so the stress is on my back and get off of them so I can be the artist that I am. And once once that's done, I'm a, I'm a blissful, happy person. We can do whatever after that. I'm good. You know, I don't need a lot. So that's what it is, man. My name is BDF44. Thank you all for sitting with me, man. Another therapy session. These help me a lot. Uh, I do do them for myself, but um, hopefully I can help somebody else or inspire somebody else or entertain somebody else. I don't know. Whatever. Kill, kill 17 minutes, you got it. My name is BDL44 again. Thanks for watching. I'm out.